Welcome to Plaza España, the one in Sevilla. It's uh, important to specify here because there are plenty in Spain. This is probably one of the most famous places in the city, the capital of Andalusia. But the region has a lot more to offer than just this. For example, this. Or this. Or this other thing. A land of potential and many things to see. And yet, the poorest in Spain. Economically, of course. Andalusia is a place that leaves you feeling like... What a shame, you know, it's great. But it could be so much better for the people who live here. This past uh, summer, I had the opportunity to visit the south of Spain, specifically the region of Andalusia. But first, I'll give you some info about its geographic position, the origin of its name and the history of the place, so you have a proper background of the place. Andalusia is located in the south of the Iberian Peninsula, west of the autonomous community of Murcia and the Mediterranean Sea east of Portugal and the Atlantic Ocean, and north of the Mediterranean Sea and the Strait of Gibraltar. Andalusia is the only European region with both Mediterranean and Atlantic coastlines. The small British overseas territory of Gibraltar shares a three-quarter mile land border with the Andalusian portion of the province of Cadiz, at the eastern end of the Strait of Gibraltar. When it comes to its history and the origin of its name, this region has seen a few important transformations throughout millennia. From Carthage, with important settlements like Gabir, which is currently Cadiz, and Malaga, which is Malaga, to Rome under the name of Betica. However, its current name derives from the Islamic culture that inhabited the peninsula for about eight centuries, Al-Andalus. Under the Caliphate of Córdoba, Al-Andalus became a beacon of learning, and the city of Córdoba, the largest in Europe, by the way, even larger than Rome and Constantinople, became one of the leading cultural and economic centers throughout the Mediterranean basin, Europe and the Islamic world. Achievements that advanced Islamic and Western science came from Al-Andalus, including major advances in trigonometry, astronomy, surgery, pharmacology, and even agronomy. Al-Andalus became a major educational center for Europe and the lands around the Mediterranean Sea, as well as a conduit for cultural and scientific exchange between the Islamic and Christian worlds. Believe me when I tell you, you can still see a lot of that past, the Muslim one, here. It left its mark uh, also in the dialect they speak, in Spanish in general. Words like um, almohada, noria, asesino, guitarra, alfombra, ojalá, etc. have all some direct uh, correlation with the language previously spoken here. To be honest, as a geographer, I have to say that there's a lot of work to be done here when it comes to restoration of the landscape. Being a mostly agriculturally focused region, meaning conventional industrial agriculture. And the Lucia's land is suffering from desertification like I hadn't seen anywhere else in Europe. If you make the decision of coming here in the summer, like I did, and that's a big mistake guys, you'll be greeted by brownish yellowy fields from the plain before being hit by the infernal heat of Sevilla's airport once you get off, and uh, that's not a nice feeling. Temperatures here in July and August normally go between 38 and 42 degrees Celsius, with heat waves even worse. So, if you're not a big fan of heat, <laughs> don't come in the summer, or go straight to a beach, if that's what you're looking for. Although, good beaches are kind of the same, no matter where you go. I went to the least uh, known of the two uh, coasts, which is the, the west coast, 
por la Costa de la Luz, específicamente en la provincia de Cádiz. Y es increíble cómo rápidamente se ha convertido en un hotspot para los españoles de grandes ciudades como Madrid o foreigners uh, con un positivo y negativo impacto que trae a long. Now, having said that, not everything is bad, of course. A positive thing of coming in the summer is that there are not too many tourists around, and <laughs> that's because they didn't want to die roasted by what it feels like the Saharan sun. They knew better. One of the things uh, I liked uh, the most about this place was the people and the way they live here. Andalusians are very different from the Spaniards from um, other regions like La Comunidad de Madrid or Catalonia. Actually, every autonomous community has its own culture and uh, sometimes even its own language. Spaniards in general are very open and friendly, at least that has been my experience so far, but here I felt it even more, it's easier to talk to a stranger, to ask uh, questions, I find it hard to describe the matter, but the more you move away from big cities and wealthy places, the more easygoing and even innocent people become. Here in Andalusia, people live well with not too much money. In fact, if you come from a country like uh, the US, uh, the UK, France, Canada or Germany, you'll find this place to be very cheap. Of course, that also tells you about the salary and work conditions of the region. All the monuments and great places apart, what really distinguishes this place is its people, of course. This weird mixture of cultures and dialects that makes them different from the others. Of course, that applies to every single place. The south of Spain was Moorish for about eight centuries, and that leaves a mark on the language. Even if they speak Castellano, the accent is very different. Just an example, say goodbye to the letter L. It doesn't exist here. They commonly replace it by an R, which sounds really funny. Despite being the poorest region of the Kingdom of Spain, <laughs> yes, it's a kingdom, at least economically, they're very rich in uh, pretty much everything else. With their gitanos, their music, their art in general, their warmth, language, history and culture, anything, the way they live. Andalusia is more than just La Alhambra and the beaches. The same way that Spain is more than just uh, Catalonia and Madrid. So, if you happen to be around or are considering to visit soon, please do. See it for yourself. <laughs>